What I did there, I just used the eyedropper tool to select the color of the background here. And if I select the rectangle tool, click and drag, you will have rectangle tool there. And you have the background. And in the layer, at the bottom, I will name this layer as the background. Okay. Now, since this is a background, I'm not gonna do anything else. This is just for a simple background that I'm, I need to use to reference my art. I'm going to lock this background by coming here at the bottom here. You see, you have these options here. You can either hide it or you make it look, uh, you can have it as a line or you wanna lock it. In this case, I wanna lock the background. And then the next thing I will do is to create a new layer. There you go. So I have a new layers on top of the background where I'm going to start building the snowman here. All right, so as you can see, uh, snowman start with circle. We want to find a circle, we can't find it here. So we'll go to rectangle tool. If you click and hold, you will have options there. And for this purposes, we want oval tool. All right now if you click while and drag while pressing shift you will have the oval at, in the same size and the very um, you will have the same sizing oval, so you will have the, a perfect circle you can't see it, so I should change this color into... I don't want that white. So change that. Okay, so that's good. As you can see, it's a, it's a circle there. That will be the first, that will be the body. And if I wanna, I would like to make the circle a little bit bigger. So I wanna go to transform and pre-transform. You should have this. So again, if you want your, uh, if you wanna resize it, but you wanna keep the, uh, the volume of your image, uh, because uh, you have to press shift while you click and press, uh, drag your mouse because if you don't press shift what happened is is going to be like that so it will change volume and we don't want that so we want to keep the volume okay so I want to make sure this is aligned to the center okay. Okay, so, and that's the shape there. And the next thing I want to do is to create um, a symbol out of this shape. The symbol is really, uh, it's really important in, uh, in Adobe Anime because it will help you to animate it really um, to use a full, puppet animations uh, style in Adobe Animate. So in order to do that properly, we want to have your shapes in different symbol. So we want to go to, if you right click on your shape, it will make, it will give you the options and if you want, and then just click to convert to symbols or F8 is the shortcut key for it. Okay, symbol. Make sure you uh, 
registration is in the middle here. It asks for your if you need to move your symbol. Uh, make sure it's you're in the middle here, and then make sure it's your symbol is in the graphic mode, and you don't have to worry about anything else. And make sure you name the symbol. There you go. So uh, as you notice, the line around it will become blue. So this, and then we'll go, what we can do is we can duplicating it. So we'll duplicate the symbol by control C and then control V. What that does is, you know, you copy the symbol and then you paste the symbol, right? So again, um, I want to free transform that. Uh, free transform. Free transform. And shift. And you can drag the size a little bit down. And then bring it down. Then we'll do another one for the head. Control C, Control V. And free transform and drag it down. Okay, so you got that. And to make the bottom one bigger. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay, so we have this tree uh, circle. And what I want to do is I want this and this connected together, if I can. This is all one symbol. So what I want to do is I want to make all this symbol separately. Okay, so if you go to your next symbol, if you right click on it, you will have an option here called duplicate symbol. Okay, and that means it is going to duplicate the symbols that you, uh, the original symbol into a new symbol, which is we call it here body two. Okay, I'll explain more why uh, why that's necessary. Okay, so before I duplicate the symbols on the top here, I will explain why we want to do that. So if you click on the symbol here. If you, sorry, if you double click on the symbol, you will go inside the symbol and inside that symbol is your shape that you created. And in here, you can manipulate your shape. So you can see if I met, if I do something at the bottom, the one at the top will follow, right? That's because it's in the same symbol. So if you change anything inside the symbols, um, everything else that is using the same symbol will also be affected. So, but as you notice the one in the middle, it's not moving at all because I duplicate that symbol, the original symbol, so it become a new set of symbol. All right, so I'm going out here. As you can see, if I double click, you see I have the scene, that's the main scene. And then you have the, the name of the symbol. So right now you're inside the symbol. And if you want to go out, so you can just click on the main scene, then you're in the main scene as well. All right. So what I, next is to duplicate uh, the symbol here on the top, in the top. And I want this to be head instead of body. So a body just for, so we have a body one, body two, and a head. Okay, now the reason why I want to duplicate that, so I want to change the setting here on the second one at the pen at the first one at the bottom one. I want to 
go inside the symbol if I double click on the symbol it go inside it and if I create a new layers on top All I can do is I click on zoom tool. Okay. I want to make some kind of a shadow. 